What's up guys, it is Nitro Loot DX here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video where you can see secret locations of chests. Now, this is mainly to showcase Season 4, however, I want to talk about the new areas, the new design, so that you get a bit more of an interesting video than, here is this chest, and here is that chest. Basically, leave a like, subscribe for more daily Fortnite content on my channel. We're landing down in Salty Springs. Now, I don't know if you realise that everything inside these buildings has been upgraded to where you can get some more mats, basically materials. So you've got another chest in here because there's a cellar. And then down this bit here at the back, but as I'll go down again, you'll notice that if I go through it, you can see that there's actually a hole. And it actually takes you down to a cellar that goes even further into some sort of secret special ops room where you can go get some chests. I've got a rocket there. There's a treadmill, basically end of the world type of stuff. And you get more materials. But remember that if you're going to be going out and fighting, killing people, you're going to want materials. This one building will literally give you over 200 wood, let alone. So, again, we've come up. I've obviously shown you two different perspectives of, of different times and what type of loot you can get in this building as well. They've even increased the chances of you getting better loot. Let's say this LMG was one of them. And previously in the chest was that rocket launcher. Um, as we go and check Salty Springs, you'll notice that there's actually more trees as well. So landing here is really, really important. And I will tell you why as well. Because factory is now gone due to the crater, they have decided to again give us more materials. So uh, you'll be able to be able to fight better and a good tactic. This is what you're also going to get through this video. Tips and tricks. You could collect all this loot, win with your squad duo or solo, and then kill the remaining enemies outside the crater. So that should help you a lot just like that. Okay. So landing down in what I would say Twitter's overload of just craziness. People didn't even comprehend that this was here. And this is the villain hideout where there's like obviously all purple. It's inspired by like despicable me and all the horrible sort of like spies and whatnot when i mean horrible i don't mean actually they're horrible i'm just sort of saying that this is very stereotype 80s vibe where you've got your rocket and you've got we're gonna end the world pinky from pinky in the brain or cobra from gi joe you've got a big rocket or a nuclear warhead right here and you do get decent loot there's not many chests here uh, however, it's a really good starting location because on the top of the mountain, sometimes there can be a chest. Uh, however, in this video, you don't actually see a chest here. But um, if you're looking to start and maybe wipe out a squad at Snobby Shores, then this could be a really good place because you can get some awesome loot. And there's definitely different areas like up here. You'll notice that there is a chest there. But if you wanted to be really, really tactical, either you going into the base or leaving the base you can exit from this area which is really cool and there usually is a chest up here as well so definitely giving these mountains uh, a much better value to them but what's great about this is also the bit i'm showing you live right now as it were where there's a crater directly next to the mountain with that lorry which usually also has a chest in and this crater as well links into pleasant park so it's really helpful to be able to collect that mediocre loot up there have a very good scope about where you'd like to go where the storm's located drop down here consume one of your crystals go into the uh, lorry over here and collect yourself a chest which of course has already been looted because it's quite important moving swiftly on we're going to moisty maya now i'll tell you a quick fact this used to be my favorite location to drop i felt like you would get a lot of chests consecutively and that is still the thing getting chests consecutively what that means is five chests within a vicinity of 20 meters so there could have been a chest in that lorry there as always this also, as a side note, you can do loads of green screen projects so loads of people can do some awesome videos. But you'll notice that there's genuinely good loot all around. There's a lot of wood materials. There's a lot of areas for you to defend if you need to fight as well. So it's a good place to land and not necessarily get killed. You've really got to take that into consideration. For example, whoop, there's a guy there. Look at that kill, beautiful. Uh, you've got lucky landing where you would get some good loot as well. Now, obviously, this is like one of my first attempts landing here so i don't know exactly where 
if a chest despawns and respawns in a different spot. However, my sort of interpretation of this video is to show you some awesome things that you might not get in other videos and also give value to the area. Now, bear in mind, we just got one chest. We also know that it was very open and easy to see the area, which is very, very important as well. Uh, and usually there could be a chest behind here and some good materials as well, but doesn't look like there is any chests back here at the moment. And this is the coherent thing that I'm talking about. So imagine me really quickly getting that chest in that corner. I've now run over here and I'm getting my second chest in this corner. Now I'm running over here very quickly and I'm about to get myself even more chests. For example, there's my third chest over there within the space of at least 20 meters, which is very rare in most places on the map. And which you guys do know if you're a chest guy like me or a chest guy, I should say, there would have been one just there. That's four. Now, if you want to add five, which is one that I missed out and I've decided to add it on the end of this uh, little sequence part of the video, uh, I'm just showing you this area in here. You can get some awesome loot. But if you look in a second, you'll notice that I could have had a fifth chest within probably tops the 25 meter range. Uh, and again, all the mats that are here, which are really, really important, especially the wood that you can get in this area. Now there could be some in here and there is a potentially another one in the corner by the coastal port over there in that shed. We'll quickly zoom over so we don't have to worry about me talking all this day walking there. So we've teleported over here and inside this little bit, you'll notice that there's an upstairs and a downstairs, and you could also get some chests there as well. Uh, and everything just works really nicely when you land here because you don't really get too many people and you can sort of fight them back and that's really cool. Now this is the opposite to the vid in place, which is heroes. So they've got like an X-Men vibe mansion. This is not chest filled. This does have chests, but it's not everywhere. This is literally materials, as in you don't even have to break anything. There's just loads everywhere. So sometimes there's a chest right there, uh, by the way, guys. But what I'm trying to say is, is that there is so many good weapons. Like I got grenade launcher, there's a shield, there's great ammo. And I mean a lot of ammo, guys. Loads of materials. Uh, and if we were to make our way up the stairs, you are literally going to see another section of great weapons. Now, you could argue and get a go that that's not always the case. However, this update has picked specific locations and wants you to be able to collect loot without having to necessarily collect chests. So there's two green pump shotguns. Your team would have been at a very, very average stage of the game by just dropping here. And regularly, it's a great place to drop. All these rooms to fight. Look at all their beds. That's at least 15 wood per bed as well. And there's at least eight of them. Um, and if we proceed to the roof, you've got some good materials here. That would have been nearly every person in your squad at 200 health as well. Uh, and if we proceed to go up, you'll be able to see any of the enemies. And really have a good idea if you wanted to go to the lodge and whatnot. And to really end this off, another example of great loot in the area. You've got yourself some more weapons. It's just crazy to be able to show this to you and showing you the different things that they've introduced really, really interests me. Then, of course, you've got some gameplay. So that's pretty much it. If you're here for the whole video, then you've watched all the juicy, interesting parts. And this is just me with my pals, Mikey ATF, Slickozzy, and Jake the Brit playing a squad game. And, uh, yeah, we landed here at Dusty Devop. And I just wanted to sort of talk over this gameplay and say thank you very much for the support recently, guys. It's really awesome that you're helping this channel out grow to be a Fortnite YouTube channel. It used to be a Minecraft one, but now we've moved over to Fortnite, which is really, really fun for me. And I hope that you're getting some awesome gameplay. I know a lot of you guys love PC Fortnite, but it's not really a big deal because I'm actually playing against PC players at all times. If you notice at the top left, I'm playing with my PC friends and I always make sure that I learn through the best platform possible, which is, of course, PC. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Enjoy the gameplay. It's not really revolutionary, so feel free to quit the video if you must. And guys, have a good day. Goodbye.